All right, guys, so um, <clears throat> pardon my voice. I'm trying to get over a cold, but I want to do a quick video on winter shipping. And uh, a lot of questions we got. We're only three days into winter here in PA. Um, we're getting a lot of questions, a lot of issues with our policies. And the policy here is very straightforward. If it's not safe to ship, we're not going to ship it. Um, so basically what that means is if it's if we cannot guarantee live arrival if all everything's optimal to send it there safely for the frogs keep in mind guys these are animals they have a heartbeat they're alive you're not ordering something off of Amazon to get garbage bags for your kitchen or whatever off of prime and it arrives the next day so there has to be a little bit of give-and-go and the, and we got to check all the conditions there's a lot going on on our side to make sure everything's safe to get it to you so um, let's get into that a little bit so we only do FedEx overnight priority by 10 30 in the morning don't ask us to do UPS don't ask us to do the postal service I personally don't think anything should go to the postal service myself <coughs> pardon me um, way we ship we use insulated boxes for everything insulated all the way around bottom sides tops so what you're going to find is your frogs are going to be in here and the box may vary depending on what size and how many frogs you end up ordering from us um, so we always use basically your marked boxes you know it says rush perishable handle with care that doesn't always mean it's going to be handable with care when it goes to FedEx once it leaves our hands it's uh, hopefully handle the care but uh, us seasoned veterans out there know sometimes it's not so that's your start insulated box your frogs are inside we're going to use newspaper or some other kind of padding material that's going to insulate them well and then from there we use one of two different size heat packs a 40 hour or uh, I'm sorry we have a 60 hour and a 40 hour uh, these are approved animals these uniheats Put that up there, let it focus. Guys, don't go out and buy hot hands. Don't do it. It's almost a death sentence. And anybody who uses hot hands to ship, A, has no business shipping, and B, does not know what they're doing. I'm sorry, we're being blunt here. Reason being is, hot hands are designed for humans to go in gloves and or shoes. They get hot very quickly, in excess of 200 degrees, and then they stop. So you get a couple hours of extreme temperatures and they do nothing. So first you're going to cook your frog and then you're going to chill it. Not going to be a very good uh, flight if they happen to live when they get to where they're going. These guys are designed to keep this box at a certain temperature which is safe for the frogs for either 40 plus hours or 60 hours depending which one you get. There's also a 72 hour. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to base upon where they're going. Is it a colder flight? Are they going to a colder state than us or the same as us? And that's the stuff that's happening behind closed, the, the closed doors, guys, is we're looking at what's the temperatures here? What's the temperatures at where you guys order from? We have a lot of customers out in California, out in Florida, out in Texas. I love you guys. I wish it was that warm here year-round. It's not. Uh, tonight it's 21 degrees we can't ship um, it's just not safe so that's where we get into these weird situations where you guys in the warmer states just have to kind of bear with us and wait for a day that's good um, we also sometimes if we're right on that level at like that 34 35 degrees we'll have it shipped to your hub much safer does not go out on the trucks um, which are not heated by the way none of the FedEx trucks or the UPS trucks are heated in the back so if they're held at the hub they come off the plane they go you know, hopefully that hub's close to tr uh, the airport, goes right in there and it's held for you. So, uh, again, we're not going to guarantee anything under freezing. In fact, we're not even going to ship. I, I have no issues at all refunding your money, guys. If you don't want to wait for a safe day, we'll just give you the money back. It's, it, it's more important that the frog lives than we put it in, in danger. That's just my take on it. It's how it's always been. And we have and we will refund if need be. Um, it's just that's how it is. Now, let's say you get your frogs, you open this up, the heat pack's hard as a rock. 
if it's hard as a rock, that means it's done. It either malfunctioned, it's past its hour rate, something went wrong. So your frogs are cold, but now you don't know what to do because they're not dead, but they're kind of in that comatose state. Here's what you do, guys. Just open the box, pop your lid, and let them go. Let them go. Do not take them out. Do not play with them. Do not put them in hot water. Do not try and put them in their enclosures. Less stress. Let them acclimate to the room temperature of your house, which hopefully is around 70 degrees, slowly. Check on them once an hour. Do not play with them. Let, them, let their bodies come back out of that, that shock that happened for whatever reason on its trip. Don't add more stress to it. Be patient. And here's probably a better tip. Communicate with your buyer. I think a lot of issues can be fixed if there's a lot more communication. If somebody has an issue, a frog comes and it looks cold, it's, it's kind of comatose, contact us. Contact who you bought them from. Get advice. Every situation is a little different, guys. Work with them. They're going to probably work with you. We will. I hopefully everybody will. But I know situations are different for every uh, every company. Um, but I want to make sure every single frog makes it to you guys 100% happy and healthy. So hopefully this gives you a little bit more insight of the shipping. Uh, again, we're not going to ship below freezing. Please don't ask us to do it. We always reserve the right to cancel any shipments for any pending storms or drops in pressure. In, I'm sorry, it drops in temperature really quickly either where we are or where you are keep that in mind or where the hub is which is memphis most times we're out here in pennsylvania if there's issues in memphis we're going to hold this box because guess what if memphis is having issues nothing's getting out so there's a lot of moving parts guys um it's a lot easier to ship these frogs in in fall and spring and even summer so please keep that in mind please be patient um, again, we want everything to go absolutely smoothly for you guys. If you have any questions, let us know. Uh, last bit of information, if for some reason you do receive a package that ends up dead, send photo or video, some, some people send videos, doesn't really matter, whatever you want to do, proof of the DOA, dead on arrival, within two hours. Do not send us a video or pictures the next day. We can't do anything for you. One, if it arrives at 10.30, you see, it sees it's signed, don't try and pull a fast one and tell me it's signed. It, it arrived at 6 o'clock that night. We can all see that, guys. Be honest. Communicate and talk to the, the, the buyer, the seller. Everybody gets ahead that way. Much easier. So, uh, again, pictures, proof, if something would happen. Hopefully this gives you a lot better insight of what's happening behind closed doors to get these frogs to you safely. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. If you want to see something else or more information, let me know. This has just been a really, really hot topic for me in the past couple days on the website. So I wanted to make a video to uh, give you guys some more information about winter shipping for those of you that don't do a lot of purchasing in these colder months um, and or might not realize what actually happens before that box gets to you. There's a lot of work, guys. It's not just printing out a label, throwing a frog in a box. A lot of research. So... Again, thanks for watching. Let me know uh, that you like the channel by clicking that subscribe button and let me know what else you guys want to see. Take care, have a great night, and have a great holiday. It's coming up soon, guys. Have a good one.